Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use custom assets with Wonderdraft. Greetings gamers, I'm Anto, and I've been playing tabletop games for almost 20 years now. On this channel, I make videos on how to be a better dungeon master, how to build deeper worlds, and how to use programs to improve your RPG experience. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I'm making this updated tutorial because a lot has changed in Wonderdraft since I made the first version, and I wanna make sure that you have the most up-to-date information as possible. This video is sponsored in part by Ancient Lair, the new custom 2D miniatures Kickstarter more on them later. Now, before we dive in, there are a couple of things that you need to understand. Number one is that folder structure is incredibly important when it comes to importing custom assets into Wonderdraft. If you don't get your folder structure perfect, your assets probably won't load. And number two is that you wanna make sure that you're running Wonderdraft in admin mode so that any necessary setting files get created when you boot up the program. Now this should cover about 90% of the issues you're likely to run into when you're trying to add custom assets into Wonderdraft. If after following this tutorial, you still can't get your assets working and you've tried everything I've suggested here, including making sure that your folder structure is perfect and that you're running in admin mode, you'll wanna to head to the support channel of the Megasplit Discord server and see if someone there can help you. I will leave a link to that down in the description below. There's loads of really experienced users there who will be able to help you with your specific problem. But with that said, let's dive straight in into the tutorial. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna to come to your Humble Bundle page where you purchased and can download Wonderdraft. And you wanna download the Wonderdraft Example Custom Assets folder. This is going to make your life so much easier. As I said before, Wonderdraft is very particular when it comes to the asset path that it chooses. And to get things to work, you're going to want to download this. If you download this, 90% of the work is done for you. And it's going to make everything going forward just much, much smoother. So go ahead and download that. The next thing you want to do is you want to open up Wonderdraft and you want to head over to Menu preferences and you can see here where it's got assets and themes directory you want to copy that and then paste that into your windows explorer bar and paste that in and you end up on this page next thing that you want to do is you want to open this assets folder now this is where we're going to paste that example assets so if i go over to my downloads here i've got the example folder here i'm just going to copy and paste that directly over into the assets folder of the wonder draft directory now we can open up this example folder and you can see that we've got three subfolders fonts sprites and textures any symbols like mountains trees or any of your town symbols they're going to be in sprites fonts is obviously for all of your fonts and textures is for any texture you want to add to the ground cover so you've got ground path and water there we're going to focus on sprites today just for the sake of simplicity. So we're going to load up sprites and you can see that in that we've got mountains, symbols and trees. Symbols are anything that isn't a mountain or a tree. So any of your buildings or cities, anything like that. And that's where we're going to work in today. So we're going to go into the symbols folder and you can see that there is already a folder there called sample symbols. We click on that. We can see that there are a couple in there, but we don't want to use those. So we'll back out. We want to make a new folder. So we'll right click, go to new folder, and we're just going to call this YouTube test. Now I like to keep everything as close to the sample folder as possible. So I keep everything as lowercase and I put underscores between all my words so we'll make that new folder then we can go ahead open that up and this is where we are going to paste our symbols so we'll go into my downloads folder and you can see i've got a couple of example assets here just really basic blocks to represent buildings for a city map you can use anything or virtually anything for this but for our simple example we're just going to use these squares just because they're nice and easy so we'll copy those over and then paste them into our YouTube test folder inside that example assets. Now what I wanna do is I wanna close out of Wonderdraft and then I wanna relaunch it as an admin. So I'll right click, go to more and run as administrator, accept the prompt. And then when Wonderdraft loads up, I can click on new map 
And if I go over to the assets here, you can see that inside custom assets, it has recognized that example folder. Now you can create your own folders here, but unless they're following the exact same folder structure within as the example folder does, Wonderdraft will have issues. It really, really doesn't like it when things aren't in exactly the right place which is why I suggest just get the example folder and just use that. Put anything else that you wanna use inside that folder and you'll have a much easier time of it. So we'll just load up a map here and it will load up our default example assets and our custom ones and it will bring up our canvas and then I can go over to the symbols tool, grab on my symbols and you can see on the right here in the dropdown, it has added the YouTube test folder as an asset pack. And that is how you group together all your assets. So you can see here, we've got the three different boxes, but if we want to be able to color those boxes at the moment, they'll just go down gray, which is the color they were originally. If we want to be able to color those, there's a little bit more that we need to do. So I'm going to close out of Wonder Draft once again. And you can see that now in the YouTube test folder that we just made a new text document a notepad document has been created called dot wonder draft symbols what we want to do is we want to open this up and you can see that there is some information for every asset in this folder this is why we run in admin mode because it generates this file it won't always get generated if you don't run in admin mode so you can see where it says draw mode it currently says normal that means it will pick up any color from the asset that we've pasted in and put that into Wonder Draft. In our case, just gray. If we wanna be able to color those things, we need to change the draw mode. There are three different types of draw mode in Wonder Draft. Normal will take the color of the original image. Sample color will take the color of the ground and apply it to the image. And custom colors will allow you to manually tweak the colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to change all three of them to custom colors. So we just grab normal and I'm just going to paste in custom colors with that underscore between the two words and do that for all three of the assets. You want to do this for any asset in the folder that you want this to apply to. And then once you've done that, you can hit file and save, close that down, and then you're good to reopen Wonder Draft. I'm going to run it as admin again. I almost always run Wonder Draft as an admin just to make sure that it tidies everything up. And then we can go to new map, check that our example folder is still being picked up by the assets, hit OK. And then once the map loads, you'll be able to see that the assets are now working. So we've got our canvas opened up. Let's click on the symbols tab. And then when I zoom in here, you can see that it's putting down a colored version of this symbol. At the moment, it's picking up this third color here, this semi-transparent sort of beigey color. But if I change that to a reddish color, you'll see it changes. I can change how saturated it is and I can change it to any color I want and that will change all of the symbols and I can do it for any of them and use them however I want. And that is the most simple way to get custom assets into Wonder Draft. There are other ways you can do it. There is a third party application called MythKeeper that allows people to upload asset packs to MythKeeper that you can then download. Most of the assets on there are really good, but some of them have been packaged in a way that they won't work with Wonder Draft. So some of them do require you to do a little bit of tweaking, but MythKeeper integrates with Wonder Draft so that it will install any that can be installed directly, which saves you having to mess around with some of the files like we've done here. But if you need to, this is how you do it. Again, I cannot recommend enough that you get that example folder. It's gonna make your life so much easier having that existing architecture to build into. You can put new folders inside it. It just makes WonderDraft know where to go to find your stuff. One of the things I struggle most with as a DM is finding great looking art for the characters and the NPCs in my game. That's why I'm really pleased that this week's video is sponsored in part by Ancient Lair and their custom 2D miniature Kickstarter. Ancient Lair will let you fully customize your character art with a wide selection of fantasy races, details, outfits, and accessories, and you'll have full control over the layers, the placement, and the sizing of each art asset, which allows you to make the perfect player character for your next campaign. 
All the art in Ancient Lair includes a back view, so you can print off your character and use them as a 2D miniature on the tabletop, or you can use the token maker on the site to import your characters into your preferred virtual tabletop. There's a whole bunch of cool stretch goals to unlock more races, styles, and options, but the thing I'm most excited for is the NPC generator included in the hero tier, which is actually the tier that I am back in. Being able to quickly make good looking NPC tokens is essential when your party has a habit of going where you don't expect them to go. The Ancient Lair Kickstarter is running until the 28th of September, so make sure to check it out if you want to add more variety to the characters in your game. And thanks again to Ancient Lair for supporting the channel. I really hope that you found this video useful, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more Wonder Drafter content. If there's anything you'd like to see me cover in future videos, please let me know down in the comments below. If you want to keep watching, I have a whole playlist dedicated to Wonder Draft content right there. But until next time, happy gaming.